One thing I want to acknowledge um, is that um, this is the best table in the whole wide world. <laughs> and um, I, I am humbled to be a part of the best table in the whole wide world. And um, I want to, I mean, what I, what I, the experience for me was a, an abundance of gratitude for the depths in which you shared um, everything. It was a beautiful conversation, and I have a lot of gratitude in, in experiencing the generosity, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. We are also a very small community in Skagit County. We are from Punjab, India. State is Punjab. And in Skagit, we are around about 100, 120 members. And we used to go to Linden or Marysville for our religious purposes. So as a community member, we bought a church across the street from this church uh, in 2022. And uh, when Viveka invited us, we are pretty much hesitant. And while we step in, we are hesitant too. We all five members are here. We are not wearing our turbans. So that is a part of our culture. But next time when we come, we can bring our culture and our turban and heritage with you guys. And thank you for inviting us. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, I'm Julia Ortiz, and Kay Knott is the one that invited me. And I want to say that I did have um, hesitation to be in a group of people that I don't know and that I don't usually hang out with. Um, I normally hang out with tribal people, like 98% of the time. And when I say that, it's specific to Lummi and Swinomish. And I shared with my table, table three, woo, <laughs> that listening to them and them listening to me made me feel safe, made me feel valued and listened to. Um, it wasn't that long ago in our tribal community that we didn't wear anything that represented our tribal identity because it wasn't safe. And so this is kind of a modern version of that, but, but it is to honor who you are and we honor who you are. And I'm so proud of Julia for sharing those words. I've been doing this for a couple of years with Terry and, and he knows that I wasn't all that comfortable doing it. But what matters to me is that for my children and grandchildren, as they meet, uh, meet me in my story where I'm at and I tell them about our tribe or my family, that they, when they meet other tribal people, they might meet them in a different way. And so when you share your story, you open that up for your community and your families to say there's another story here. And I am honored that you share that. And that I hope that you come the way you always would dress and that we would honor that. My heart is so deeply touched, you can't even imagine. I get to see and enjoy what I've been able to experience the last couple of years, which is meeting people from so many different backgrounds and how heart feeling and hopeful that is in a time when there's such division. So I lift my hands to you and I thank you for the gift that you gave of coming tonight. And I am from Iran. I am from Baha'i community. And uh, everybody knows that the Baha'i community be brought up with love and uh, peace. We don't know prejudice, we don't know uh, criticizing, nothing. But I was expecting this uh, unity would be just in my culture, just in my uh, unit. And now I see everyone, a human that means human. And I am so grateful to be here. And my story that came down to my family was about my great, great, great grandfather who had welcomed the first non-native people through the valley. And tonight, as I know he's standing with me tonight, he's extremely happy and proud of what's going on. This was his vision of sharing the wisdom of our culture and our people 
with all the different cultures in the world. That was his hope, that those people would come together on our land and share their stories, the rich stories that makes us all better people. He expected that day, and today the day has come. I want to thank everybody for being here.